Hi, beautiful souls. Welcome to day, drum roll please. Day 10. Day 10 of the gratitude challenge. You have spent 10 days in the high, one of the highest frequencies that you could be in by giving gratitude. How has that impacted your attitude? Oh, I'm so proud of you guys. This is so big. Well, let's keep this beautiful gratitude movement going, shall we? Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So in today's challenge for day 10 in the book, The Magic by Rhonda Bryan, this chapter is all about spreading gratitude to the people who cross our paths every single day. Now, this is honestly one of my favorite ways to live. This has been instilled in me since I was a child, that you treat everyone with respect, regardless of their race, regardless of their gender, regardless of their role, their status. You treat all beings with respect. And this one is so near and dear to my heart. And it really is something that will completely change your day. And if you continue to do it, it will truly change your life. So this one is called The Magic Dust, everyone. Okay? Now, how cute is that name? Say it with me. The Magic Dust. I kind of just like The Magic Dust. But you know, Rhonda has to make stuff extra. <laughs> but it is really one of the most transformative practices in the book. And it is, like I said, it is something that I live and I truly stand behind. So, and I, and I tried my hardest to instill this in my child and I see him do this and I see the way he feels about people and the way people feel about him. And I think a lot of it is doing this. So in this practice, what we're going to be doing is we're going to focus on the people that we interact with, okay? Whether it is our loved ones, our colleagues, service workers, strangers, the gas station clerks the UPS um, delivery people, whoever, okay? And then what we're going to do is we are going to consciously express gratitude for them, okay? One of the things that Rhonda reminds us is that when we express genuine thanks for people in our lives, we're not only enhancing the day and their day as well, but we are sending out positive energy to the entire world, one person at a time when we do things like that. And that positive energy, when we send it out, it will come back to us. This exercise is, is really beautiful because it is a way to change someone's life silently. In many ways, it's a silent prayer for them, right? And it is crazy what it does for people and they have no idea you're doing it for them. One of the thing, ways I do this for my personal friends is I constantly say every day. I say their names and I say, thank you, God, for opening doors for them that they had no idea could even open. Thank you for spreading their name and saying their name everywhere they go to where there will be more doors and more opportunities for them, for financial success, marital success, whatever it is I'm calling in for that person. And I will sit back and watch a lot of things happening for them. And I think, I bet that gratitude confetti helps a little bit. But anyway, so it does. It helps you strengthen relationships, improve interactions, and it really does create a ripple effect of kindness wherever you go. Think about it. When you smile at someone, nine times out of 10, they're going to smile back. And it's going to shift their energy and chances are they're going to smile at someone else. And it starts that beautiful little ripple there, the ripple in the planet. So Rhonda's message is, she says this, gratitude is a powerful force and it has magical ability to transform any situation and person for the better. By giving thanks to people around you, you send out a positive vibration that they will feel. I promise you they'll feel it. And it can change the way they interact with you. The more gratitude you give, the more you will receive in return. Okay. 
So today's challenge is to look for opportunities to thank people today. Whether it is someone that you see every day, like a family member, if it is a coworker, or someone you don't even know, like the barista, when you go get your coffee, silently say thank you in your mind or take it even further and say out loud, thank you for your excellent service. I love the way you greeted me. I love the way you engaged with me today. And I don't think you realize how much you just made my day. Thank you. Saying thank you to someone that held the door, but make it deeper. Thank you for your kindness today. Oh, my soul needed you. Thank you for setting an example for, you know, how kindness goes a little way. Thank you. So make it a heartfelt thank you. Every time that you say thank you, imagine you are sprinkling magic dust to that person and on that person. Because I promise you, if you say gratitude and you infuse it, with a little bit extra, it is going to brighten their day. This helps really also shift your focus to appreciation, which is very contagious and it's very uplifting, okay? So I want you to write down 10 people. This is your gratitude list for the day. So writing down 10 people that you interacted with today or even that you interacted with yesterday and why are you grateful for them, okay? Focus on the ways they have made your day or your life or your week better, no matter how small it is. This could be something simple as, thank you to the grocery store cashier for her smile and her patience and her humor, you know? Or thank you so much for my dear friend who really listened to me the other day. It was so nice to have somebody just hear me, not give me advice, not try to change the way I'm doing thing, things, but just listening to me, right? So make sure that you are infusing each gratitude with a why. It's great to be grateful, but you're going to notice a major difference if you do this challenge where you're sandwiching the gratitude with why, you, why you're grateful for it. Okay, so when you are saying thank you to people, also make sure you are sandwiching it with why you're grateful for them. I'm telling you, the more you do it, you're like, wow, people will feel very seen. Okay, so many people live in this life where we do not feel seen. So another reason why this is so important is it's going to strengthen relationships. When you appreciate people, it really improves how they feel about you but it also improves how they feel about themselves and it creates a deeper bond. And there is scientific benefits. Y'all know I love my scientific benefits. So research shows that expressing gratitude, like we keep talking about, what does it release? Dopamine. Dopamine and serotonin in the brain, which are feel-good chemicals, which literally rewire your brain to see the good in others and to see the good in your life. It's promoting feelings of happiness. It's going to reduce stress and it is going to improve your overall well-being. Every time I do this gratitude challenge or do a gratitude challenge, people literally tell me when they see me, girl, you are glowing. Did you find somebody new? Ooh, who is it? And I'm like, no, I found gratitude. You will notice from my video from day one until today, the difference in my appearance even because gratitude, it is shifting any energetic blocks of worry, of not enoughness, it shifts it. And then the energy and the focus stops worrying about problems and all these things. And now the energy radiates this radiation of appreciation, of seeing the good around me of being optimistic instead of pessimistic. So this shift in energy, it makes you more attractive. I swear it does. And it, and it makes people want to be around you more because they experience positivity around you and your interactions when you're doing this challenge because you're training your brain to see the good. Your conversations even shift with people. When you start sending gratitude to the people around you, you find that 
they respond to you differently. Life responds to you differently. Even the person that cuts you off in traffic. Thank you guys so much for letting them get to their location safe and sound. They clearly need to be there. There's something very important that's calling them. Thank you for protecting them on the way there. You know, so simple things like this make you feel lighter, more connected to the world instead of feeling the world is against you. And it makes you more aware of the goodness in your life because I promise you there's a lot of it. So what to expect tomorrow on day 11? Oh, excuse me. Teacher hat activated. So while you're doing this challenge, remember 10 people you are grateful for today and sandwich it with a Y, okay? And then you're going to, at night, do your gratitude rock of the one thing you're the most grateful for about your day, okay? Tomorrow, what to expect on day 11. So tomorrow, moving on to day 11, we are gonna learn even more about um, turning even negative situations around by using gratitude. So it's an important practice, like we're learning because life is not always smooth sailing, but gratitude can really help navigate the storm, okay? So let's wrap it up. Let's go out there and sprinkle some magic dust today. Remember, the more gratitude you give to others, what's it do, friends? It comes back to you in ways you cannot even imagine, okay? So don't forget, write that gratitude list. Do your gratitude rock each night before you go to bed and let me know in the comments how this practice feels for you to do today. There's some crickets out there. I need to hear you, ladies and gentlemen. I need to hear you. I see you watching. Start talking. I'll be grateful for it. <laughs> Share any stories where expressing gratitude shifted your experience with someone, okay? All right. Have a great day, everyone. Love you. See you soon. Bye.